In this session, we want to examine how we can use the TI-84 calculator to calculate values for chi-square distribution. So we have this so-called forward problem where we want to find um, the probability, right? We want to find the probability of chi-square. So essentially that's, that's chi-square distribution here. For degree of freedom, 49. Right. Uh, find the probability, that is the area of the graph, beyond 50. Beyond 50. So we have this, beyond 50. What's this area? Okay. Now, uh, your calculator is able to let you enter the lower bound and upper bound. We have uh, no upper bound here. Basically, we'll just enter a pseudo-infinity, that is uh, uh, e to the power of, uh, not e to the power, e, 99 and that is equivalent to a numerical value of 10 to the power of 99. For all intent and purposes, this is as large as uh, infinity, right? So for all practical purposes. So that's what we want. And so let's go ahead and ask the calculator to do it. We go second vars, that's the little distribution on top. So this is uh, the other button that will be used a lot, a lot. You scroll down, we see the chi-square PDF, that's not important. We want the CDF. The CDF, the cumulative distribution function. So it gives us the lower where we enter 50, and then it asks for the upper where we say second, uh, comma. There's this little double e on top to mean 10 to the power of. So we say uh, 10 to the power of 99. At a uh, degree of freedom, uh, the question wants 49, so we enter that and we paste. Then this gives us uh, the answer is. So P of chi square greater than 50 is equal to 0 0.4334. That's it. Okay. Now let's try to go on the reverse. Now we want to find that particular value such that when chi square is greater than that value, uh, we have a probability area under the curve of 10. So, so we want to find Similarly, perhaps it's a larger value here this time now. So we are given the area is uh, 0 0.10, uh, but we have no idea what is this value here, C. Okay, so that's why it says that P of chi square greater than C will give us an area or a probability of uh, 0 0.1. So find C at a degree of freedom, 73. Here's the problem. You invoke the list of distributions and you scroll down and you don't find a chi-square inverse. Don't have. So what you do is you will run the inverse chi-square app. So here I've uploaded uh, the inverse chi-square app into the calculator. So I will invoke it and enter the right tail, right? So it's only available for the right tail. And what we do is, because that's the most frequently uh, used application for, for chi-square. So we enter 0.1 under the degree of freedom 73. And I did run for a while and then um, out comes the value C equals to uh, 88.85. Okay, so that's it. So uh, perhaps let's check again. Uh, suppose now we go on a forward check and run chi-square CDF Okay. And the lower is 88.85, uh, and the upper is infinity at a degree of freedom 73. And let's check whether it's um, giving us 10% or not. That's not bad, right? So, so to a very, very good accuracy, we have 0 0.1 here. So that's the answer.